Welcome to the Pacific Northwest, Spokane, Washington, site of the first and second rounds of the men's NCAA basketball tournament. This is where South Dakota State is camped out for their Friday game at 120 with Maryland. We saw a lot of beautiful sights coming into town, and the Jackrabbits certainly hope they'll be playing a beautiful game. The team didn't waste much time, got straight on their buses, went to the hotel trying to adjust to the two-hour time lag. For a lot of them, this is their first experience in the big dance, but not all of them. George Marshall, of course, played at Wisconsin. Jake Biddle and Corey Jacobson were each freshmen on the last South Dakota State team that went to the dance. And, of course, the head coach, Scott Nagy, has been to two of these and feels prepared for number three. It, it can be overwhelming, and I know the first year I was overwhelmed, the second year I wasn't. Uh, but there is there's going to be a lot of attention where, you know we've got to make sure that we give our guys plenty of rest and then get their heads shrunk back down and get back get back to work now sdsu will hit the practice floor at the spokane arena a place that actually looks a lot like the denny sanford premier center only seats about 12,000, so maybe they'll be a little comfortable in an intimate setting that they're kind of used to back home state taking the practice floor will speak to the media we'll also hear from maryland tomorrow as our coverage is just getting underway at the ncaa tournament from spokane washington zach borg KDLT News.